guys, it's Audrey, and welcome back to Odd Vlogs! Hey, that one I've was I've noticed you, pitch. yeah. I've well, toned it down. Yeah, you've toned down the volume. You're sparing my oh, ears. Because <laughs> hearing that, like, right in your ear, gets pretty loud, believe it or not. Oh, yeah. Today I'm here with my fiance, probably now husband, by the time this video goes up. Yeah. We're filming this early. Spencer. Yeah. I asked you guys on Instagram for questions that girls are too afraid to ask guys. And I was interested I don't know to if see. You can tell on camera, but I'm scooching my seat back a little bit to make it a little more comfy. Yeah, we're in the car if you couldn't tell. Um, so I'm gonna be asking Spencer all the questions, or I guess the questions that I have in my phone that you guys asked on Instagram. If you want to participate in future videos like this, make sure you follow me on Instagram at all around Audrey. Okay, you ready for question number one? No. <laughs> They're not bad. They're now not I'm bad. like nervous. They're not bad. They're not bad. Okay. What do you feel about girls having guy friends? Hi, Allie. <laughs> That's normal. Like, like, it's okay to like, have a girlfriend, but the girl, like your girlfriend also has like friends that are guys, but they're just guys. Like just guy friends. I don't see what's wrong with that. And here's why, because like, if you're with somebody who has a problem with you having friends of the under other gender, means that you're with someone who has probably jealousy issues. That's true. And so that's like a huge red flag of a lack of trust in the relationship. Oh, that's and good so. Point. Since like, just because you're friends with someone of the opposite gender does not mean that you're like into them that way. Mm -hmm. And so like... That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. You know? Cause like... I think it goes the other way around too. Like guys yeah. can have girlfriends, not girlfriends, girl friends. Friends who are, are girls. girls? <laughs> Do you like when girls make the first move? There was a lot of people who actually asked this mm. question. Depends on the guy, but personally, I, I actually kind of do like it because I'm really shy, and so when the girl makes the first move, it just releases pressure, makes it easier on me. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so I, that's why I like it. Some guys are not the same way though. Some guys are like, nope, the girl cannot make the first move. I have to do it. Does height matter at all? <laughs> like you're just staring at me. <laughs> I hate this question. Because <laughs> I honestly see a lot of posts on Instagram that basically make fun of short guys. Really? Yep. Hmm. It's kind of mean, actually. Hmm. It's sad. It I don't sad. think height matters. My personal preference would be to be taller, just because that seems to be the thing that's more normal. Oh, you're talking but, about guy height. I thought when the person asked this well, question, yeah. I thought girl height. Well, right now I'm just talking about guy in relation to girl, girl height. height. Okay, you know? I see what you're saying. But like, if the girl is taller, I don't honestly think there's anything wrong with that. True. I've seen plenty of people who are in happy relationships and the girl is quite a bit taller than the guy. I've seen yeah, that. Yeah, I have too. So, I don't think you should worry if you like someone that's shorter than you or someone that's like super duper taller than you. Mm -hmm. This is another one that's going to massively depend on the person though. That's true. I cannot speak on behalf for all guys because... Do you guys ever overthink? Yes. <laughs> all the time. I absolutely overthink. Okay, um, what are the hints guys like you or like crush on you? Also, hi Marissa. <laughs> Exposing all guys. Oh, dear. Like, how does a girl know when a guy likes her? Like, <laughs> I don't know. For me, you're kind of onto something. For me, if it's a girl I find cute, if I don't know them at all, I am super shy, mm. super quiet. That's what I would do too. Like, because I'm so afraid of like embarrassing myself in front of them <laughs> that, that like I don't, like I just like kind of shut down basically. <laughs> yeah. I don't have sisters, so I'm like just not as used to being around girls as some other people do, mm -hmm. like are. Mm -hmm. So whenever I would see like a girl that I thought was really cute, I just kind of like, like shut down. Yeah. However, when I got to know them and they actually became my friend, if I liked them, I'd actually wind up being more spontaneous and more like crazy around them. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So like if I opened up to them, I like 
really opened up. Honestly, I think the easiest way to think to gauge it is if you watch the person at, and how they act around their normal friends, mm -hmm. and then if they act differently around you, there's a good chance they like you. That's true. Because people show different signs, and I don't know, like, specific signs. Yeah. But that's a pretty, like, basic, like, if you know that they act differently around you. Then there you go. Then there you go. What do guys look for in a girl? This one varies, probably. Depends on the person. <laughs> like, straight up, depends on the person. I can't, like, I'm not... I, I guess personally, I there, guess for you. I don't think there is anything that is universal as far as what guys look for in a girl. Mm -hmm. It is That is 100% dependent on the guy. Yeah. What would you say for you, though? For me, I really like eyes. Okay. If they've got pretty eyes, like... <laughs> that's yep. that's the first thing as you far notice. as like personality goes just I think kindness is one of the top ones if they're mean we don't want no baddies no <laughs> if they're mean to other people like I can no. they're not gonna have respect for you exactly yeah do you think girls need makeup no do you like prefer girls to wear makeup or to not wear makeup like do you have a preference or do you just don't care nope Okay. <laughs> I don't really care. I was a swimmer, so I actually That's saw true. girls without makeup quite frequently. That's true. And I just think that the society puts so much emphasis on girls' makeup, and I hate it. Amen, brother! Yes. I honestly, like, hate it. Like, it's the dumbest thing. That is dumb. There's so many, like, societal pressures against women that are, like, pretty much made and created to sell you guys products. I was very, very true. In my opinion, he's closed. You don't need makeup. You can like I'm not saying don't wear makeup. Like, like you should just you not wear makeup. wear makeup. If you want to wear makeup, there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to cake that stuff all over your face, go for to it. To the point where like you put your face in a pillow and it leaves an imprint, <laughs> go for it. Do it. You do you, boo. You do you. But if like, do not feel like you have to wear makeup. And if somebody makes you feel like you have to wear makeup. Just, if there's somebody that you can remove from your life, personally, I would recommend removing them from your life, which is kind of extreme. But in my opinion, I don't like to hang around people who put you down. Yeah. Do you think the guy should always pay for the dates? I think whoever initiated the date pays for the date. That's true. Like, if you if ask the, the girl, person If out. it was a girl's choice, if the girl asked the guy out, the girl pays. That's my stance. That's that's. I don't think it's fair for the girl to ask the guy out and then expect the guy to pay. Yeah, yeah. Especially like, if you like plan the date, too. Like if you're like, this is what we're doing, yeah. and then you're like, okay, now you have to pay for it. I'll if like, you are going, if you want to ask someone on a date, then it's only fair that you do the planning and are willing to pay for it. Yeah. Because that's what the guys do. Guys, when they ask someone on a date, they plan it out. And yeah. then they're willing to pay for it. Yeah, I think that's good. If you like, in my opinion, and there's plenty. Let me tell you, there is plenty of things you can do on a date that cost zero dollars. I should have gone. Okay, you do not need to blow like a hundred plus dollars on a date. Oh yeah, that's like. Mm -hmm. You can have fun, like. You can have fun. Audrey is and I's early dates, like, we had. For if we had a meal, we'd make something like mac and cheese. That's like probably two dollars to make. Yeah, there you go. Cheap. And the other time we'd spend it, we'd like do geocaching. Yeah, which is free. Which is totally free. Mm -hmm. Like Played just Minecraft. things like that, you know. Played like whatever we had around the house, like yeah. easy things. Just spend time together. That's yeah. what really matters. Okay, this is an interesting question. What is the first thing you would do <clears throat> if you were a girl for a day? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. I think I've asked my dad this question. He, this, he said the same thing. He's like, I don't know. What would you do? I don't know. <laughs> if I was a girl for a day, would I magically know how to do hair and put on makeup? Like, would you come with a skill set? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, like, I'm not super good at hair, and like, not all girls know how to do makeup, so I'd say no. 
the well, then I wouldn't even be able to change. put like makeup and hair on. Like nothing would change. Uh, you it would just be. The it wouldn't same. be like, oh, I need to do this first. It would probably just be like me analyzing it throughout the whole day and see like what the girl's like perspective is perspective and way of thinking would be oh that's good but i don't think there's any like one activity where i'd be like oh if i was a girl for a day i'd be doing this yeah okay you know do you guys have a guy code define guy code i don't know like i guess there's a I've girl heard code like girl code as in like you can't like, date like your best friend's crush or like yeah, things like I think that that's like what not is. dating like people who you have who like your friends are close to mm -hmm. or like that's... not like dating your friends like sibling oh or yeah. something like that yeah you know because that's that kind of weird um not that i've heard of like i mean we follow something probably like a girl code just out of general respect <laughs> but we don't have like Guy as code, far bro. as as far as I know, we don't have like a uh, the bro code or whatever. Yeah, okay. You know, like just respect your bros. That's the bro Res code. <laughs> respect respect the bro. your bros. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever get insecure like girls? Yes. That was well, immediate. <laughs> I don't know how insecure girls get about things, but guys have insecurities too. That's true. I think people paint picture like m like guys as like just like stoic like don't have any feelings. Oh like. no, nah, dude! I cry more than Audrey does. What is the best way to support a guy friend or a boyfriend? <laughs> Be their friend. I guess that's <laughs> like hey, best way to support a guy friend or boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Just be there for them. Yeah. Like, be willing to listen to what they have to say. Like, I don't know. Just be a good friend, <laughs> honestly. Like, there's nothing super specific. Just treat them with respect. Do guys sleep in the same bed at sleepovers? Depends on the guys. Because girls, for the most part, if you know, There's like... There's some guy groups of friends that I could definitely see them doing that. Yeah. Like, girls, if you're not sleeping in a sleeping bag, I feel like for the most part, you, like, share a bed. Like, I know when I've traveled with my friends, like, I slept in the same bed as them. Yeah. But, I, like, do guys do that, too? I mean, I've slept in the same bed as a guy while I was traveling, too. So... Well, yeah, so... On the swim team every now and then we'd have two day meets, so we'd mm -hmm. stay in a hotel overnight and just to keep space like we, we had to share about two to, to do a bed. And so Same thing. Yeah, same thing. Okay. When guys meet for the first time, how do you know a handshake already? <laughs> like the dude handshake. That's a bro code. Oh, that's <laughs> the bro code. <laughs> like that one's just like handshake as in like like I think the that kind of thing. Thingy. That's yeah. just like a general thing that guys do. I mean, at some point in your life, you have to like kind of learn it, and that first one's pretty awkward. But like, it's After just that. like a guy's way of greeting each other, and we all just kind of do it. So we all like if somebody's like holds out their hand like this, like you, you know, as a guy, you know what that means, you know. Oh, last question. We're ending off on a Selena kind of. Doesn't facial hair itch? <laughs> I wouldn't know because I'm totally baby faced. I mean, you do have I have some. zero. I don't have enough for me to know if it itches. I've heard it does, but I don't know. I, I don't because you have to have like full beard level before mm. it like really starts itching. And I still haven't achieved that. My cheeks are still barren as can be. That's okay. I like baby face. So I am literally probably like one of the least facial haired people you'll ever meet <laughs> but also like how do you guys with beards and like the full like mustache how do they not like eat their hair like when it's long enough they just have to keep it trimmed so it doesn't come in front of their lips that would be horrible if you like you got food on your oh, well, that does happen oh man i've heard with people with beards you will if you have like the beard facial hair around your mouth you will get food in it oh man i feel like that'd gotta, be hard gotta make sure you're cleaning that sucker yeah
<laughs> scrubby scrub. Have you ever heard jokes about like, oh, if you have a beard, you have snacks for later? Ew! <laughs> gross! All right, guys, those are all the questions that I had today. Good job. Thanks. I think you answered them all perfectly. But if you guys want a part two with more questions with Spencer or my brothers or my dad or all of them, let me know in the all comments down below. All the guys. <laughs> Not a bad idea. And make sure you subscribe. And you guys know what time it is. We're in the dungeon soon. Woo!